This is the kind of project that, you know, it's not just cool for the sake of cool. This is cool because it's useful and it can make people's lives better. All of us know someone who has dislocated a shoulder or strained their elbow. For that type of injury, you go through rehab and physical therapy trying to get better. And by using robotic devices, you're able to give more personalized, accurate exercises that lead to faster recovery. So what this is is a robotic uh, assistive device that you can wear, kind of like a backpack, and then it attaches to you and can add strength uh, to your lifting capabilities. The mechanical and industrial design of the suit was a huge amount of the project. I was using a lot of programming resources, so using Python to run the code, and then we were also communicating to a, uh, the Intel DE2i base station that was uh, we're using an Atom processor on there to run a full Linux operating system and then pull in through MATLAB uh, all of the data we were streaming from the suit. Uh, with the Intel DE2i board, we could really show visually what the doctor would be able to see, even in real time, streaming data, or they could see all the different joint angles. And we were able to represent that using this Intel board. So competing in the Cornell Cup was an incredible experience. All four of us were utterly excited for getting to compete with 30 other teams from across the country. We got to meet so many really technical people that were really understood our project and gave us great advice. These competitions really helped to bring out the best in you and the best in your engineering talent. So right now we're actually working on our patents for the project idea and try to figure out where the best market is to, to move forward. The field of exoskeletons is really set to, uh, to just explode and become a huge part of people's lives. And you know, it's gonna stop being science fiction um, or devices that can only help out you know, a very small number of super wealthy people when in fact, you know, they can be expanded to help thousands or millions of people feel normal again.